Police in Kilifi County arrested a group of suspects, among them two police officers who were taking a local brew at Kiwandani area in Kilifi town, completely disregarding the social distancing directive. The suspects will appear in court and later sent to forced quarantine centers at their coast. Kwa hivu wako wapo polisi tutawatua leo, tumewandalia pahali, ambo tutawashika pale kwa siku kumi na ine, bada hapo tutawapima ala fundo wachilie. Iwe lile funzo la watu wengine ambo watatoka toka. Area Governor Amazon Kingi directed the closure of all morgues, noting that those going for burials will be escorted by police officers to burial sites. Virusi hivi vinapatikana wakati watu wanatangamana katika halaiki kubwa kubwa. Na tumesema kwamba hatutaki watu watangamane katika halaiki kubwa kubwa. Lakini hilo kwa wengine linaingia upande huu la ninatoka upande ule. Accompanied by Kilifi County Commissioner Magum Tindika, Kingi directed all sub-chiefs, village elders and county administrators to ensure directives issued by the national government are adhered to. Kingi said his government will distribute 500,000 masks across the county. Meanwhile, mask testing kicked off today in Kilifi with journalists in the county being the first to be tested for coronavirus. Kingi says healthcare providers, security officers and senior administrative officials in the national and county governments will be tested in a continuous exercise that will culminate with all residents being tested. Elsewhere, mass testing for the coronavirus kicked off at the port of Mombasa for the employees of the Kenya Port Authority on Sunday. Acting Managing Director Engineer Rashid Salim and General Manager Operations and Harbour Master Captain William Ruto coordinated the exercise and were among the first 50 KPA staff to undergo the COVID-19 test. Officials from the Mombasa County Health Department said they are targeting at least 1,000 and tests at the port in the first phase. Results of those who were tested will be released on Tuesday this week. Rashid reaffirmed the authorities' commitment in combating the spread of the virus through a raft of measures to guarantee the safety of staff and port users. So we are ensuring the port for fraternity, the agencies working inside, our stakeholders, that it is safe to come into the port as uh, all the cargo ships are coming in, are quite, are quite safe. And uh, with this testing, we'll be able to know the trend of how we are doing. We're taking the measure to ensure that everybody is tested. And all our workers, we are testing today. We are starting with the confectional cargo operations. Tomorrow, we will do also the security and also container terminal operations. Those are the key areas where we cannot stop uh, operations because the port works 24-7 a day. Beatrice Getonyangetich, Channel 1 News.